when we started the series, the Fonz had a little gabardine jacket. Mm. So he goes in, discovers that he is perfect in the bathroom. The fans fell in love with the Fonz. And it was so extraordinary because like we would go to these big, these big banquets for the owners, operators, the O and O's everywhere. And these middle-aged women would just be falling all over themselves to get to Henry because he had so much innate sex appeal. And he, they, this thing, they just, he just ran off with this series. And in his pocket, it was, so the word came down, they said, go with the Fonz, write for the Fonz. And then he finally graduated to his leather jacket. And I've never seen anybody with so much personal charisma. All of us girls just were crazy about him. Just, I don't know, he just had it. And what about Marion's relationship with him? How did that develop? Oh, it, he would just, he would just treat her in such a adoring way. And of course she just, she loved him, she loved him. But we used to make lots of little gag shots about, like our flub reel. They would, we would see Marion coming down from upstairs in the garage with the buttoning of her dress up. And <laughs> all of these things we would shoot. <laughs> I, I, I adore Henry, he's such a fine man, such a, such a darling. I have had such a wonderful relationship with the Fonz, whom I called Arthur. And like, he would put his head on my shoulder and we have this wonderful bit of film that ABC has, and they've used it a lot on some of their conventions, where we, we would put film in the camera all the time. Jerry Paris, the great Jerry Paris, who directed all our shows. We did a lot of playing on the set. Not wasting time, just this is playful mood all the time. So we would have film in the camera, and like on an afternoon dress rehearsal. And audiences there and everything. We planned this little thing. And the Fonz is helping me on with my coat. So I turn around and I kiss him on the mouth. And Tom is, Howard is standing there. Look, and then and I continued to talk to Howard and said something, turned around, kissed the Fonz right on the mouth again, and went right on. Well, now the audience has fallen into this hush. And now my heart is pounding. I thought, uh -huh, I think we've gone too far. <laughs> We all broke up, but that bit of film is used over and over and over again. And we would do this kind of stuff. Tom looked furious at me, you know. <laughs>